Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I have a question to ask. You know, we talk about the reliability and the consistency of robots. So today I have an experiment. I have my Lego EV3 Educator bot here. And what I want to do is test the reliability, the consistency of this robot throwing a ball. So the experiment's pretty cool and I'm going to need your feedback on it too. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so today's experiment. What I want to do is be able to take this robot. I want to be able to toss this ball and basically see how consistent is this robot throwing this ball. So today what I have is I have this robot trying to throw this ball into that pumpkin, you remember the uh, Halloween candy video I did? Same pumpkin, but seeing if I can toss this ball into that pumpkin consistently and how consistently. And if it's not consistent, what are some factors that would affect how consistent this robot is? So what I'm gonna do is take you into my experiment lab. Just It's just my table. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the this ball, this robot, through some trial test runs and see whether I can get some data and sorry about that and get some information from you on what do you think can cause this robot to be inconsistent. So what we're going to do is take a look at the experiment and then go through it and then get the data from it. Okay, so let's go to the table. Okay, let me explain the experiment here. So the program has this robot going backwards when it's on a weight block. When the ultrasonic sensor sees an object 20 inches away, it will stop the robot and the medium motor will flip this ball. Now, I did a ton of trial uh, missions here, and this is about where the ball should be. So here is today's dilemma or today's question is if I do everything perfect, what are some of the variables that might cause this to not be perfect? Because you would expect with the robot and with the ultrasonic sensor, you know, being correct every time, if it doesn't always go into the pumpkin here, what would be a factor that we can consider as part of the, the data? So what I'm going to try to do is have this, um, you can see this motor, how, you know, there's tension on it, but I'm going to, bring it all the way down so there's zero tension. I will always line it up here with this PDG sign. Ball goes there. So feel free for my experts in the comments section to, again, write down what are some variables that might cause this not to go in every time. Because you would assume it would go in every time. So, and let's have another piece of fun here. I'm gonna do this 10 times. Let's see if somebody can correctly guess how many times this ball will go into the pumpkin. Okay, so we're actually trying to learn two things here. Number one, what are some variables that might cause the ball to not go in the same way every time? And out of 10 tries, how many times will this ball go into the pumpkin? And this pumpkin's pretty big. I mean, you know, you would expect the ball to go in every time but we'll find out, okay? So I'm looking for two things in the comments section. How many times out of 10 will this ball go into the pumpkin? And second, what are some factors that might cause this ball to not go in every time? So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna be trial number one. Okay, so the first test missed. Okay, trial number two, we're ready. Ooh, it went into that one. So we are one out of two. Okay, here is trial number three. Ooh, barely missing. So right now we are one out of three. Okay, we're ready for trial number four. 
That was close too. We are one out of four. Okay, this is trial number five. Ooh, that is in. So we are two out of five. Forty percent. Okay, this is trial number six. Oh, that was almost in. We are two out of six. Now we're down to 33.3%. Okay, this is trial number seven. Oh, that was not close. We are two out of eight. Sorry, two out of seven. Okay, this is going to be trial number eight. Nope, that is off. We are two out of eight. Wow, 25%. Not a good percent. Okay, we have two trials left. Okay, trial number nine. Oh, that was close. Two out of nine. Okay, this is our 10th and last attempt. Whoa. Sorry about that. That ball somehow rolled off the axles here. Okay, here we go. This is our last trial, number 10. Whew. Two out of 10, everybody. Okay, guys, so two out of 10. I, I just... It's one of those things where you assume something and don't feel bad. You didn't let me down. It's just a robot, you know? I mean, if it was a human and two out of 10, that's pretty bad. But you're, you know, you expect it to be a little bit more perfect than that. You know, everything is kind of measured out, like the time that it goes from here to here and the distance. But I, I don't know. It's just not as consistent as I thought. Did any of you put 20% down in the, the comments section? Um, I, if I'm with you, I know I would have guessed something like 60, 70, 80%. So, you know, we're going to make sure the robot doesn't hear this, but that's pretty inconsistent. So, you know, it's just one of those things, again, where we can learn from robotics. We always learn the, the um, you know, relationship between humans and robots. And, you know, it's definitely not an automated machine. You know, if you go to the batting cage, that thing throws it at the, you know, the same speed, almost the same location all the time. But I guess there's some things you can fine tune, some things that we can learn from today's experiment. So it was just one of those eye opening. Wow, I thought you were better than that. But, you know, it's just a robot. And I guess it proves that nothing is exactly perfect all the time. So it's just one of those things where it's just a machine. Um, humans make mistakes. So it's just one of those things where we learn the odds and see if we can maybe improve the odds. So that's another video, another experiment. So what I'm going to do is go through all the comments, see if I can fix and change this robot to make it a little bit more consistent. Okay, so be looking for that video in the future. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday, okay? I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys. Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.